Welcome, everyone, to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Fruits Basquet, Season 1, Episode... 16. Six frickin' teen, everybody. Frickin' frickers. I have to take that out. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Mm-hmm. To see more Fruits Basket reactions, check out Patreon to get a month ahead on this stuff. Is, there, is what happened last time? It was there. It was the cabin episode. They're all in the cabin mm -hmm. vacationing. It's a little bit nice and chill. And uh, was it? I mean, yeah. It, 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 it was a little it, ominous at the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we got there, to see. There a little talk amongst the old folks. Yeah. The old I'm, folks. They're like twenty-seven. <laughs> I, I feel like there's just some like relationship building and like yes. seeing yeah, character it was like motivations. Reset, right. It was it wasn't like something anything super crazy was happening. Right. Yeah. It was like a reset reset episode mm -hmm. where everybody had all this tension and it was kind of like mm -hmm. solidified. Everybody's kind of you know I don't know getting along. Yeah. And we'll see how they get along this episode. Like I said before, leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon to get a month ahead on this mm -hmm. on these reactions and many others. You can also check out our One Piece channel to see our One Piece reactions uh, where we're doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Link in the description as well. It should be called like Boldcast One Piece. I don't know. I've made the channel yet. Hope you enjoy <laughs> this reaction to Fruits Basket. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Leave a comment. Yeah. About something. Why not? Okay. What is this? In the city? It's very sketchy. Who the hell is this? <laughs> this is, uh... Just cut her hair? Is this her friend? I, forget, I keep forgetting her name. Uo? What the fuck was that? I have no idea. It was like a. Was that like an older Momiji or was that. No, that looked like it was Uo. I don't know. The show's like getting it. a little too <laughs> intense. Like, shit keeps happening and it's, it's kind of heavy. I always just love how fast she's going in that yeah. shot. It's like she's like on, on an electric scooter or some shit, on a hoverboard, just like. <laughs> Very stylish. Is that dress code appropriate? Are you allowed to wear those at school? I thought they had like school swimsuits. <laughs> it's a crazy butterfly stroke. <laughs> <laughs> like how no one else has the school swimsuit, but she does. Why? Because they should be eating nicer food? I don't understand. Oh. That's really sad. <laughs> why, why, why are we buying her a swimsuit? <laughs> yeah, good point. We need to buy her stuff. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> because she's poor. <laughs> I 
たちまし<笑><笑> <Stop, sir. 笑><笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ That's nice. Why did you bring these guys along? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Hmm. <laughs> Bitches. Mm. It's like her, her old gang. Her old crew. <laughs> so cute. You know who the girls remind me of? <laughs> Nagisa's parents. Mm. <laughs> Except Hana's a little less <laughs> loud. Yeah. Too much wave reading going on? Too much occult research going on. She was in Tokyo Revengers, actually. Literally. <laughs> They're just hanging out. These guys are just there. It's so awkward. Backstory. Oh, that. So at the start, that was a flashback, mm -hmm. not a flash forward. Waking up after an overpass. It's pretty badass that she was actually a gang leader. No, she wasn't even just a, in a gang. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls aren't even gonna do anything. They're just gonna end up stalking just the guys by the end. <laughs> like they'll completely forget mm. about their like revenge. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna smarten up after she learns that she's just like settled down and become a mom and is like really chill. Changed her last name. <laughs> I'm 
Really? <laughs> God, they were in order. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she about to punch her in the face? <laughs> Am I gonna get jumped? What the hell is this? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I'm actually so excited for this. <laughs> she looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so silly. <laughs> She still has that edge to her, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. I love the music this episode. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed it? Like... Yeah. Like when she was giving her whole delinquent backstory and it was like getting all serious. Mm -hmm. this, the music was really good. Cause she's just so nice. <laughs> she even sounds cool. <laughs> Whenever I see these like low income Japanese apartments, I always think of Clannad. Mm. It's the same layout. She actually said it. <laughs> Look what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> you like how... Save it. I'll save it. Was that an old gang member? Or one of the current gang members that was with her when she was talking about her, about Kyoko? <laughs> Just start to question everything. <laughs> oh, those other girls. That was them. <laughs> she just saw her idol moving on and then she's just questioning. Mm. It's just, it's not really fun when you're not looking up to someone and you're just being an asshole. Mm. Well, when you see no the person reason. you were looking up to wasn't like this hero. Mm -hmm. it's someone who just like moved on. And like is living a clearly a happier life. He just makes you question everything that you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not 
抜いただけだよ。Mm. I forgot about this ending. I was like, whoa. <laughs> That always makes me laugh. Fucking <laughs> seahorse. <laughs> With the so dramatic good. music. <laughs> I also really like the boar. This looks so extra cute. Yeah. Which looks like a little mole or something. Yeah. <laughs> After credits. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't skip it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where they had that fight. Mm hmm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Trying to act tough. <laughs> <laughs> They're like practicing their lines. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be another hot boy? Or is it Momiji? It's a fight. Talk about burgers? <laughs> Was he just like, you want to be friends and go get some hamburgers or something? I like it, like I like that because he can perfectly speak Japanese, but just does it just to mess with them. <laughs> what do you think of that episode? That was such a good, these episodes, the show is getting so good. It's like every episode is just hitting so hard. Mm -hmm. Like the, the cabin stuff was like, it, it was like, all right. But like this episode, episode 14, like some mm -hmm. of these, some of these episodes and in, in episode 12 are just like, just fucking They're on so another level. good, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love it so much. Oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I forget what, I forget what I was going to say. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, uh, about the strict parents. About the mm -hmm. strict parents, because uh, when she was storming out of the house, um, she was like, do I look like, with, with the way that I act, do you really think I have strict parents? And then... She, uh, Kyoko's just like, well, I mean, everybody's got different situations because apparently she left because she felt very restricted by yeah. her parents. And then she became like a biker gang leader. Mm -hmm. So it's a different thing. She's not, she wasn't acting out. She was more rebelling than she was, um, you know, acting out necessarily. Yeah. You know, she was doing both, but it was, it was because her, she felt like boxing. If I have that right, is that? I seem to remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. How she's like wanting to meet her. Oh, I bet she her daughter's just gonna be a complete delinquent. And it's like, if people care about their child, they're not gonna raise them to be a gang member, even if they were, you know. But I, I, I love how she's just like so nice about it. Like she, just, she's like tells her to her face, like, you're not even what I expected at all. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> I'm so and then she's just like, I mean. I'm, I'm just living my life right yeah. now. I'm just relaxed. I'm not uh, doing anything crazy over here. She's clearly like way happier and like having a great time. Mm -hmm. And I love that as well. It's like, oh, it's so disgusting to see her become a doting parent. Meanwhile, now she's acting like a doting parent. She doesn't even have a kid. Exactly. She's, <laughs> but she's just as bad, if not worse. <laughs> yeah, she's acting the same way as as Kyoko clearly mm -hmm. like inspired by her so much yeah mm -hmm. and yeah I love that how she like was an inspiration to her and then it got completely ruined and then she became an inspiration to her like in a different way in a more realistic and healthy way of just like someone in her life that she really looked up to yeah. and was really nice and stuff yeah um oh what was I gonna say damn it oh it's uh Okay, is there anything I want to say before I get into this? Um, I didn't know that you were allowed to wear non-school swimsuits at school, at the school pool. I, I wasn't aware that was a thing. Maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe I guess it depends on the school. It probably depends on the school, but it's just something I didn't know. Um, I guess that's kind of it. I like the whole backstory and everything. What I, what I wanted to get into was um, the whole like uh, traditional gender roles aspect of all this because like the common through line is that i'm that i'm seeing that i pick out of it and maybe it's wrong but this is just my interpretation 
viewing it from like uh, how we talked about in episode three or whatever, how, you know, the show seems to be very traditional about like gender roles, at least in some way, or at least like having the choice, you know, mm -hmm. like not, not putting down the, a traditional sort of lifestyle and, 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 you know, that sort of dynamic. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this, it's like, it seems like it's very much promoting that even in here. Cause we see Kyoko, who's like the rebellious, you know, girl who's like acting like a guy and like going out and beating the shit out of people and stuff like that. And then, you know, has a kid and becomes a mom and then settles down and is way happier. And then we mm -hmm. see Uo as well, who mom leaves, dad's drunk, the house is falling apart. She's not going to school. And then she becomes happier when she is like, we see her at New Year's, like taking care of her dad, making yeah. sure that he's not getting drunk, um, cooking for him and like taking and care of him. And the house is all clean the and the lights are on. He yeah, it's like she sort of slipped into her mom's role, inspired by Kyoko, clearly. Mm -hmm. And um, slipped into a more traditionally feminine sort of role in her household. I think, but what I think I like about it so is... So it seems like that's kind of the answer. Yeah, but but I, what I thing. like about it is that she's still a badass, same way that Kyoko yeah. was still kind of a badass. Um, and it's like... And I, th I think a lot of it is more about being like a nice person and doing kind things for the people around you rather than, yeah. um, you, you know, whether whether the thing is like tra tra traditionally like being a housewife kind of thing. It's like... Um, you know, she, Kyoko cares about Toru, and that's why she is, like, making a nice home for her. And Uo cares about her dad, and that's why she's, like, helping him and in, in, in making the house nice for him. Yeah, but... Uh, and it's, yeah. instead of instead of being self-destructive, um, and, and it's the same kind of for all of the, like, the guys as well. It's, like, if they're being shitty and self-destructive... Um, like, the answer is to be, like, kinder to yourself and kinder to other people. Yeah, but the way that that's expressed when with the female characters, the way that they express their love and their care is usually through more feminine deeds mm -hmm. of kindness. You know, like, um, like, like, yeah, like, it's constantly, like, the, the through line of, of, a, of a healthy sort of, uh, like, the, the female characters with, like, the healthiest sort of lifestyle is when they're acting like a traditional woman in the household like they things are things are right and things are good in the world when you know the the female character is like cooking and cleaning and taking care of not just the guys but just sort of being that and it's not necessarily about like fl slipping into this like subservient wifey gen gender role necessarily it's about like they become like the pillar and like the rock in mm -hmm. their situation and that involves these these more like feminine traditionally tasks like if, if the guys when they you know get their shit together what they do is they stop fighting and they like you know put things aside and then go out and like help toru like run to her or something that's how they ex like when the show is expressing that they're like doing the right thing or on the right path that's what the guy characters do or they find some some other way to do it but it's, sort of it's become like a pattern that when the the girls do something it's like you know slipping into that sort of thing. Mm. And that's just my interpretation, but it's 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 just kind of the through line that I've seen. Cause yeah, when Kyoko is happy, she goes from being a delinquent to being like a, the best mom that she can be. When Uo is happy, she like, or is when her life's sort of in order, she becomes more like Kyoko and becomes more of like the womanly figure in her household. Cause her mom left her when she was mm -hmm. young. When Toru is helping out all the guys, she goes in and then cleans up the whole house because they, all these guys have a pigsty for a house <laughs> and she like cleans everything and cooks for all of them. And like, mm -hmm. you know, takes care of the house. And, um, it seems just like a common thing. And Kagura, when Kagura is trying to like impress, uh, Kyo and like get, get him to love her, she's like freaking out and trying to cook for him mm -hmm. and like trying to, you know, you know, go shopping for him and stuff like all stuff like all that shit. So it's this common thing that I'm seeing that like when people are trying to express love or trying to, or when, when things are going really good for them, it's like they're doing womanly things successfully basically. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you want to feel about that viewer out there. I don't know. It's just something that I've picked up on and I, it, again, it's to me, it's not even a critique. It's just refreshing that, and, it be, that, and that there's different perspectives like it, that like someone like Kyoko or Uo, their version of that is not this like, um, you know, like the way that Toru does those things and expresses that side it's of herself different. is different than Uo yeah. and, and Kyoko's, Kyo, Kyoko's out working and then Toru's at home yeah. clean. So, well, you know, it's, that, that, that's what I was kind of trying to say is like, um, but she's still, when she became happy, she became a mother mm -hmm. and like, a, a, you know, anyway. Yeah. I, I guess what I was trying to say is like, I feel like the show 
is isn't really saying like you need to really be a hundred percent of one thing though i guess Mm -hmm. it's like you can like her mom was still the crazy biker girl and she accepts that as like part of herself and even when she was getting married and and stuff like they were like oh you need to like let her um you know do do her own thing because she because she's just like that um but she's still a good mom, even though, and yeah, she's a single mom as well. She's going out to work, and yeah. um, Tori seems to just really like all, like, you know, cooking. Like, she definitely has a passion for cooking and really enjoys it, and, yeah. you know, is, is taking care of the house while her mom's out, and... Yeah, that's important. It's, I'm not trying to say it's, like, this, you know, this propaganda for this type of lifestyle. That's not what I'm trying to get across. It's just that I've noticed this pattern of, like... It's not, I I don't think that the author is like trying to put out their like ideology or anything. It's just that I've noticed this pattern of like when, when female care, you know, Mm -hmm. what what I've already described, I've noticed that pattern through all of these things. Um, And I don't know if it'll persist a hundred percent through everything, but it seems relatively consistent and it's more just about um, maybe what, you know, what, what the author considers good or something. And I guess also in this, like there's, at this Possibly. point in their lives as like high schoolers there's not really like two like they, they don't they don't really seem to have any like out of school activities or hobbies at this point like none like of them play sports or like yeah but again that's like a writing choice yeah. it's not like they don't have access to I know to them. no, no I'm that- sa- I'm saying I'm saying it's 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 a um, I guess I'm just I'm just noticing that for the first yeah. time. It's like I they guess. they and that's what I mean. It's like if you if there are other ways to like show that you know you, know, you see what I'm saying. It's like fo- it's like in its lane mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. Um, and it's not it's, it's again it's I think it's refreshing because like we talked about in episode three all the way back. It's it's not something you see in you know mm-hmm. Western stories a lot of time. This like sort of uh, I don't know not shying away from it. Not even like not about promoting it all the time, but just like. That that's an option and that it's like sort of a common thing mm-hmm. and it's okay to to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah, it's okay to just be like a good friend or a good daughter or a good mother. Yeah. And like, in the ways that that like is tradition and, traditionally and the, meaningful in like a non. Yeah. You know. And I also like that it's I do like that but it there's is, multiple roads to mm-hmm, happiness. Mm-hmm. But that it is promoted in like a uh, like it's supposed to be like a fulfilling thing, yes. not like a Obligation. oh you have to do this and it will make you miserable, but you need to do it because it's like a requirement. It's like it's like, a sacrifice. It's like they feel better when like the people around the them, people are, happy. Around them yeah. are happy and their house is clean and they're eating good food and like you know contributing to their families in the way that they can essentially. Exactly. Yeah. And As it's, like it's a not, child. Yeah, and it's not about this like political thing. It's just that. It's just, it is, you know, it's just, a, yeah, about helping people. And it's, it's that simple. And that the simplicity is what I, I guess I'm trying to get at. is just, just that it's nice. It's just that it's nice. That's yeah, all. like her, her friends are just nice every yeah. time. And I love how Tori is just like so nice and sweet. And and then Ugo's just like, yeah, get that fuck away from me. <laughs> and then now they're just like the best of friends. Mm-hmm. I love how they're hanging out. Um, I don't know what these girls are going to do that are like stalking them. Mm-hmm. They're gonna like try and have a fight or something. I don't know. I think they were just the comedy. Like I think yeah. that it was setting up for like a possible thing, but then they're just like being kind of and then silly. they're just, like out. They're just being kids and just mm-hmm. being silly and just like freaking out at children <laughs> or people that are slightly. Old. I mean, maybe even oh no, same age, same yeah. age. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, leave a like and subscribe, and check out our Patreon if you want to go ahead. Check out the One Piece channel. Mm-hmm. Bye bye.